Hello students and welcome to this video for Excel chapter 1 mid-level exercise number 2. We're on page 48 or 40 480 of your textbook 480 and you can turn there I'm gonna read the information here at the top um, while you're doing that. You are a small real estate agent in Indianapolis. You track the real estate properties you list for clients and you want to analyze sales for selected properties. Yesterday you prepared a workbook with a worksheet for recent sales data and another worksheet listing several properties you listed. You want to calculate the number of days that the houses were on market and their sales percentage of the listed price. In one situation, the house was involved in a bidding war between two families that really wanted the house. Therefore, the sale price exceeded the list price. So you can see here, step A, we're opening up the file that um, is here at the top of the screen. So Excel, chapter one, mid-level two. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click enable editing. And then I'm going to zoom in here so you can see this better. And we're supposed to save it. So file, save as. And of course, we're choosing the right folder to save it to. So make sure you're saving in the right spot. And we're going and adding an underscore, of course, and your last name and then first name. Like usual, last name and first name. And of course, save. Step B, it says to delete the row that has incomplete sales data so delete the row that has incomplete sales data the owners took the house off the market so you can see right here based off of the sheet um, the worksheet that it's row number eight so I'm gonna click on row number eight and I'm gonna click on delete up here to get rid of it then it says step C type in cell a5 so I'm clicking cell a5 here prop ID type in 2018 hyphen 001 and use autofill to complete the series to assign a property ID to each value. So I'm gonna push enter and then I'm gonna try, let's see if we can use the autofill handle here. There we go. I double clicked on my fill handle and it filled them all in just like that. All right, step number D, excuse me, step letter D, calculate the number of days each house is on the market in column C. So I'm gonna click here column C. Copy the formula down that column. So we're going to need to put a formula in here that's going to figure it out for us. So we're going to take the dates here um, and we can see here that we need to use a formula that's going to analyze the two together. So I'm actually going to try this equals this date minus this date push enter and that is actually gonna work for us so um, let me show you it again it's E5 minus D5 so we're gonna take the date it was sold and minus it by the date that it was listed and that's gonna make it um, give us the answer you can see it was about three months to 30 days and I'm gonna double click on the fill handle it's gonna copy it down uh, and give us those dates right there so you kinda have to think through okay what's the best way to accomplish it and solve it so uh, we're finding the difference there with that. Step E, format list prices and sold prices with the accounting number format with zero decimal places. So we need to have list price, sold prices. So I'm going to click right under list price. So that's F5 and go down to the bottom of sold price, which is G12. And then go up here to the number group and choose accounting number format with zero decimal places. So I'm going to actually go and rather than increase it, I'm going to decrease the decimal place. Then step F, step F, it says calculate the sales price percentage of the list price in H5. So percentage right here, we're calculating the percentage of the sales price as opposed to the list price. The way we can do that, equal sign, we're going to divide here the um, sales price by the list price um, to find it. So I'm going to click on G5. So I have equal sign G5. I'm going to put a slash for division and I'm going to click on the list price. So this is how we can find out the percentage. I'm going to push enter and you can see that the um, sale price was 95 percent of the list price and I can click on my fill handle um, and just double click on it and it will fill the rest in here, the percentages. And if I go up here, you can see 
G5, F5 is what I put in for the formula for the right up here at the top. The second house was listed for 500,250, but only sold, it says, for 400,125. Therefore, the sale percentage of the list price is 79.99%. And format the percentages with two decimal places. So I'm going to select these right here. We are going to click on the percentage format and they said with two decimal places. So let's go over here and increase it by two. And now it looks like that on our list. Step G, it says wrap the headings of row four. So I'm gonna click on A4 and go all the way across to H4. And it says to wrap the heading. So I'm gonna click wrap text. And it wraps it for us just like that. Step H, insert a column between date sold and list price columns. So date sold and list price columns. So what I'm going to do for that, I'm actually going to click here in um, on sold price columns. And I'm going to click on the insert arrow and choose insert column. And it's going to push the stuff in. Um, oh, you know, I actually clicked in between the wrong one. Sorry. In between date sold and list price. So I'm going to click on list price, not sold price, list price, choose insert and columns. And you can see it went and pushed it one over for us. You also notice these ones up here stretched as well. All right, we insert the new column. Do the following. It says move the days on market range C4 to C13 to the new column. So C4 to C13 to the new column. So you can see here I have this one right down here. And then, well, I'm going to actually just, let's select C12. So for some reason, it's saying that. C12. Um, so we're going to move it over to the new one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this. And then I'm going to click over here on F and choose to paste it. And then it says get rid of the empty column C. So let's delete that here, choosing delete sheet columns. I clicked in here. Delete sheet columns. All right, step I, it says edit the last date of 41 Chestnut Circle House. So 41 Chestnut Circle House. So um, change the list date, not last date, excuse me, list date. So right here, we're in cell C9 on mine. And we're changing it to April 22nd. 2018 and then it says edit the list price of the house on Amsterdam Drive so the list price so um, I'm in row 5 going to the list price here and I'm going to be typing in 355 as opposed to 350 so 355 as opposed to 350 And then, step J, select the property rows. So property rows right here. And we're going to set a row height. So let's go over to format. Let's choose row height. And then we're going to set it to 25. 25, you can see how it separates here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see this better. Row to, uh, right of 25 and middle align right up here alignment group middle align there we go then what we're going to do is it says apply all borders this is step K to range A4 through H12 so I'm clicking on H A4 going all the way down to H12 and then I'm going to select all borders in our borders group so I go to the font group I click on the borders arrow and I'm going to go find all borders, which is about fifth one down the list, and click. There we go. We've applied our borders to it. Then step L, it says apply a line right and indent twice the values in the range. And that's what we need here, E5 to E12. So I'm just going straight down here, E5 to E12. Align right. 
it was kind of already that way, but that's okay. And then it says indent twice, so we're moving it to the center. Um, I need to do this one, not the indent, increase indent twice. And let's get rid of the Apple TV thing. All right, so we did that. Then it says step M, apply 120% scaling. So apply 120% scaling to it. The way we do that is we go to the page layout tab and we have scale to fit. Right now it's at 100%, so we're going to crank that up to 120. I type in, the, get rid of the zero, type in the two, push enter, and now it's set. Then it says step and delete the properties worksheet. So we're going over here to the properties worksheet, right clicking on it and saying goodbye. And delete that, very good. Then we're inserting a new worksheet and as you probably guessed it, it's gonna be called formulas, formulas, formulas. Then it says for step, speed, uh, step P, use the select all feature to select all data on the household worksheets. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to actually um, click and choose the select all feature. So right up here in the top corner to get all the data. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it. And we've been doing a lot of copying of pictures, but we're actually going to copy um, the data itself. Go to the formulas worksheet and we're going to push uh, to paste it. Now you notice in the status bar it says select destination to push enter or choose paste. So I'm going to push enter and it pastes in all our new information here. So we have our new formulas worksheet with that information. Um, one of the first things we need to do is going to step Q. It says we're hiding the date listed and date sold columns. So I'm going to select C and D right click on it choose hide it hides those then step uh, the next step here it says display cell formula so I'm gonna go to the formulas tab I'm gonna tell it in the formula auditing group to show the formulas and then I'm gonna uh, set up the options here so I'm gonna go to page layout this is printing options and it says to set options to print grid lines and row and column headings to check those boxes and of course it says adjust column widths we don't really have to work about how it, uh, worry about how it is it looks good um, like this then it says group the worksheets and do the following so I go down here to where house is sold is I hold down control push that click that mouse button and it says after we've grouped them to set the orientation so page setup group to landscape Center the page horizontally and vertically between the margins. So I'm going to click on the pair, uh, the dialog box launcher for page setup group, um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose margins, and I'm going to check both these boxes right here on the center on page. So horizontally, vertically, and then it says we need to insert a header and footer. So I'm going to click header footer tab. I'm going to choose custom footer. And on the left side, we're doing the same thing we've been doing with the other exercises. You're putting your first and last name. I'm clicking in the center section, and I'm putting the sheet name, or sheet tab, excuse me. So sheet name, code. And then over here in the right section, the file name. So let me make sure it's there, good. File name, just like that. And I'm clicking OK, and OK again. So we have two worksheets there in our workbook. Here's this one. You can see column C and D are hidden. And then we also have, and I'm going to ungroup it here, and click on Houses Sold, and you can see we have this one looks like this as well. So two worksheets for our exercise for Excel Chapter 1, M2.